The Palace Dunstable opened in 1920. And when the mayor performed the ceremony, he said that the event was the highlight of his year of office. Two stairways led up to the balcony from the narrow foyer. The cinema held 400 in the stalls and 112 in the gallery. It was said that the windows were provided to let in fresh air and sunlight to avoid musty smells. The palace was purchased by Southern Morris Circuit in 1930 and Union closed it just before the 1939 war. The Union Dunstable was built right alongside the palace. Whereas Odeon, Gaumont or ABC would frequently demolish the old cinema to make way for their new one, Union favoured finding new locations and keeping the old cinema going. This was presumably to deter rival circuits from entering a town. The cinema was one of the few to open with a Union name. This eventually conspired against the company as the name Union became synonymous with the workhouse. The Union opened in September 1937 and had a typically lush, flamboyant foyer. Designed by Leslie H. Kemp and Tusker, the cinema seated 1,048 in the stalls and a further 384 in the circle. It was taken over by Star in 1969 and films ceased in favour of full-time bingo in 1973.